Yo, yo, yo. We back with another video, back with another banger. Highly requested. A lot of people said, do your own video, this, that, whatever. So that's what I'm about to do. This video right here is my first ever sub 10. First time running nine seconds in 100. Um, very, very fire day. I say it started off. It started off fire, you know, just from the four by one. So the four by one was the first race I ran, which we actually broke the school record to start the meet off. You get what I'm saying? And then mind you, I'm gonna give you a little backstory and then we can start the video. So mind you, right? This meet I think was on a Saturday. So Friday we had the prelims. So, you know, I'm getting in the blocks and they like, oh yeah, you know, take your stuff off, you know, get ready to go. So as soon as we get in the blocks, the person runs up like, oh, a thunderstorm is coming. You know, we got to evacuate. I'm like, bruh, this finna take me a few seconds to finish this race. Like, we can go ahead and run this race and we can go ahead and, and get on out of here. So as soon as a person told me this, bro, I'm hot. Like, you know, inside, like, I'm like, bruh, like, this some, this some BS, bruh. Like, I'm just trying to run. You know, it was already cold and, and, and so on and so forth. So... You know, that happens, and then we have to go to the hotel. So now we got to go back to the hotel. We get to the hotel. We got to stay in the hotel for like a couple of hours, you know, waiting on the phone call. So as soon as Pac-12 texts us or calls the coach, you know, whatever, we got to get on the bus, and we got to get back to the stadium to get ready to run. So, you know, we get back to the stadium hours later, whatever. Boom, I run, I qualify. Boom. Now, this is the next day. So, let's get right into it. It's really looked forward to, but you know, we are talking about it during one of the commercial breaks, Tom. 1,500 meters used to be one of the marquee events because of the great distance running of, of Oregon, but now all of these events are marquee, and look at some of the history. Our dear friend Otto Bolden back at UCLA, Andre de Grasse went on to represent Canada at the World Championships and the Olympic Games, hold the championship record at mm -hmm. 9 points. I actually watched, nine, seven. I actually watched that race. Temperature in the mid-60s, the wind not a factor at all for a very, very strong field indeed in the mid-100 right. meter dash. You see? There is the man of the moment, Craven Gillespie. You see the boy, Craig, man. Personal best of hey, right here? Last night. I'm going to say like in these moments, so these are the moments like, you know, you walking back, you pacing, you know, you doing like your little get outs, whatever. In these moments, I'm like, bro, I won't, I won't smoke. Like in these moments, you got to like get yourself like pumped up, bro. Like you got to really like talk to yourself like, bro, you got to be about that action right now. You got to be about that action. You get what I'm saying? Because this is going to be a hot race. You know, you got multiple people from Oregon in this race. You got Cat from Washington State, you know what I'm saying, who got a, a blistering start. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know the things that I got to do in order to win the race, you know. So, you just got to go out there. You got to do it. You know what I'm saying? And you see at the bottom of the screen, that's what I ran in the prelims the night before, the story I just told y'all. So, you know, now I'm kind of, I wouldn't say I'm still frustrated from last night, but it's just like, you got to get going, bro. You got to get going. Off route. Night in horrible conditions after a three and a half hour lightning delay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not exactly how you want to script your preparation for a. I don't know if you just heard that. Sorry for keep pausing, but I don't know if you just heard the announcer basically just say a three and a half hour weather delay. Seasonal wind legal best, but Craven Gillespie, that's what championship runners do. They're able to tune out any of the distractions and rise up. He's the school record holder at Oregon, third nationally in this event right now, fourth at NCAA's last year, and of course, the defending Pac-12 champion in the 100 meter dash. Yeah, that's an, that's another good thing. An announcer, he talking that right there. He talking that. You know, I gotta defend my title, bro. I gotta defend my title from last year's Pac-12. You know, I won the hundred last year. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta come back and defend that, bro. Off rip. Last year's 100 meter final. All right, here we go. This this a recap, hey. <laughs> yeah, hey, this a recap from last year's, bro. That's so fun. Like you can literally see how like my whole like demeanor and swag didn't changed on the track, bro. Like. I didn't wear a sleeve. I ain't wear a sleeve no more, bro. My chains, you feel me? My chains hanging low, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I ain't got I ain't got the headband, you know, I got the two braids, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, let's get into this one. This is a little recap from last year, just for the people who ain't seen it. And for Oregon, a school that is get there. Had some solid get there. In the meters, get there. I see you. This was really a terrific season for them to have a high you see. Meter hey, I don't know if y'all read my lips on that one, but I said, talk to me. Now, that's for another video. <laughs> that's for another video. You know what I'm saying? It's a backstory to that. It's a backstory to that. And a lot of people don't know the backstory to that. So, in another video, I give y'all the backstory to that. And let's not forget Emmanuel Wells. This was also a big well a big race for us. You see it's four of us in it. So we trying to win the Pac-12. These events, but particularly the limited field sprints if you will with only nine lanes available, you you can perform. And regarding the scoring that we're seeing between UCLA mm -hmm. and Oregon. Let's get right. This 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 me like let's get going, bro. Like this 10 for first, 8 for second, 6 for third, 5 yes, and then 4 3 2 1 right on down through. Deep breath. Rest. That's that deep breath right there. Mark, let's take a look at the lanes. We talked about Webb from UCLA, Mark. Because you know in these moments, like, I don't know how many like of you guys like, had big races. I know it's a lot of people, you know, a lot of my homies, professional, you know, that's watching this and stuff like that. But, you know, big moments, you got to calm yourself down. It's not more so of you being nervous. It's just, you know, you're, you're ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ready to go. So it's like, you know, calm yourself down and get to you know a state of mind where it's like okay let's get back at ease and then when it's time for you to get in the blocks then you can amp back up but you don't want to you know be all over the place because that's when your mind go all over the place you know so on and so forth because reeves the junior out of arizona state will be in lane number two Riker daniel from oregon schmidt spencer schmidt from oregon as well and mind you i'm still like amped up from the four by one that we did Earlier in the day, you know what I'm saying? Watch out for for Washington State and Robinson and Stewart for USC in lanes number eight and nine. And that four by 100 meter relay that Oregon ran earlier gives you an indication of how good all four of these sprinters are. Yeah, seasonal PR for them. One, two, three, four, not out of the question for these four ducks right now. And you notice the Craven Gillespie ran the second leg in the four by one, so he runs the farthest distance because he's the fastest guy here. <laughs> Robert Johnson's no dummy. <laughs> so see, at this moment, I'm telling myself, bro, you get out. If you get out how you post to, how you be doing in practice, you get what I'm saying? And you put it all together, you're gonna run sub 10 that's that's literally that's literally what it is and now another like you know a little backstory or whatever like we had a, a doctor dr grimes shout out to dr grimes you know he kind of like more so tells you like and visualize and and visualize envision i don't know what i'm saying think about what you're gonna do you know and so He's like, you know, you're going to run this, you're going to run that, you know, just think about it. So, you know, it happens, right? So this is no cap. I'm not capping. I literally at this moment right now, at this point, I close my eyes and I literally see nine, nine. I'm not capping, bro. This is on me. This on me. So I'm like, bruh, so as soon as I seen that, bruh, I opened my eyes. Like, bruh, we're gonna stick with that, bruh. You don't wanna close your eyes and see some <laughs> some other shit you ain't trying to see. But nah, I was like, bruh, I'm ready to go, bruh. Let's get right. Fair start. Boom. I'm out now, bruh. I'm out now. Look, bruh. Look, at this point, I'm already in the front. I'm already in the front, and I'm still in my drive. If you can tell from everybody else, everybody else is still are. Everybody else is up. Like everybody else is looking up. Like they're out their drive phase already. So that was another thing that I wanted to do is stay in my drive and be patient. That's a lot of things that people don't do in track. You gotta be patient. Don't worry about the next person. Don't worry about the person beside you and everything like that because. You got to worry about yourself because you can get ran down at the end of this race if you rush it. 
that's why you can't rush the race. Just let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm I'm up tall. At this point, I knew. I already knew, man. Look. And the, that 9 9 popped up. Bro, I was so pumped, bro. <laughs> what point two? Point two. I literally ran a whole extra like two hundred meters. Like I was on the back stretch. I was on the back stretch. Like where the two hundred start. Like I couldn't stop running. I was so pumped. Like not only the hard work paid off. From everything, the straight leg bounds, the heels, just everything that we do at practice, and like everybody telling me, like, oh yeah, you can run nine, like all this, but it's like you gotta do it, bro. Like, obviously you know you can do it, but you still gotta go out there and do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that was that was actually crazy when I seen that and knowing like I was the first person ever in Oregon history to run under 10 seconds. Like, so that was like another major thing. Mind you, I'm still coming off this high from the four by one school record that we broke. And then I come do this, my first nine in the hundred, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta understand how pumped like I am, bruh. Well, he equaled the meet record of one Andre de Grasse, the Olympic and world champion. And equal the meet record, like they just said, so well, from the grass, what they just showed in the beginning of the race. You figure having more of a normal approach to this event today without the lightning. Let's get right. Without the change in weather, without too much of a headwind, he was going to do something special. But let's break Look. down this Boom. one. Keeps that head down out of the blocks. Fantastic drive phase. Still keeps that head down. I'm in the front. This, this right here is good position for me. You get what I'm saying? This is good position. Mind you, even in this position, I still can't see. I still can't see little bro from, from Washington State. I still can't see him from this position. You get what I'm saying? Like, you might say like, oh yeah, we're like even. I still have a slight step in front of him. But I'm looking down into the track in my drive phase, you get what I'm saying? So for me, I can't see nobody on the side of me. Head down the first 20 meters and then transitions up. You have to, of course, acknowledge the wonderful Look start this by Emmanuel Wells. But then Gillespie. Look at that. That's smooth. That's smooth. That's smooth. That's smooth. That's smooth. He just continues to push him. Right here, as you can see, at this point, I'm already leaning forward. Like, look at my body. I'm already leaning forward because I was, I knew I was running so fast. Like this was a speed that I've never ran at before. So this was like being on that, that, um, that 1090 that we be running on. It's like this little machine that pulls you, you get what I'm saying? This how that felt like, bro. Like it felt like I was literally flying. Like I was flying, bro. So I got so excited because I knew I was running so fast. I started leaning so I can get, you know, I was chasing the time basically, which you're not supposed to do. So don't, don't do that, bro. But I was like so pumped. I just started leaning forward. I could have ran faster than 997. I say if I would have ran through, like ran up tall and ran through, I'd have probably ran like 993, 994. Yeah. Yeah, I say like 984, 993, something like that. You know, if I kept the upright position and not get pumped and just run smooth through. Because this right here, bro, if I'm not mistaken, this is about five to seven meters. Five to seven meters away from the um away from the finish line. Which is a lot in track. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that was crazy. Away from the pack. And a strong finish at the finish line just continues to fly through and that was Wells like able to come in and break up that organ quartet as the ducks go one two see five, at this moment six, i'm like bro get there get there talk about and i just start leaning bro 2019 be about craven gillespie i looked up because i knew bro i knew i was i knew i was flying bro that's why i looked up like that we know degrasse 
a high caliber and see at this moment you know I'm everybody congratulating me you know what I'm saying at the SEC championships etc or in Palmer got in for second so Oregon goes one two you ran it down but also one yeah. of the reasons why that was that, different uh, Craven Gillespie ran so well is because Emmanuel Wells got out really quickly that and really pushed him bro. through the first 80 meters and let's talk about something like that was like that was that was the start that's when I knew like bro now that you got that out the way, you get what I'm saying? Like, that was like a weight lifted off. You get what I'm saying? Like, like that was actually, that was crazy, bro. Just to know, like, I finally got that. I finally accomplished that. You get what I'm saying? Like, that was a big accomplishment for me. You get what I'm saying? Like, running under 10 seconds. And to do it. Defending the title, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had my I had my dad out there, you know, I had my family out there. So that was that was always good for them to see and witness in person. And just knowing like you can you can continue to do this consistently, you know what I'm saying? So that's the end of that video. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate y'all rocking with me. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um continue to you know comment, continue to share, continue to subscribe, continue to do all those things. I really appreciate it. For y'all that that is subscribed, I rock with y'all 100 percent Like 100 percent bro. Cause y'all don't have to subscribe. Y'all don't have to comment. Y'all don't have to like. Y'all don't have to do none of that, bro. So the fact that y'all are doing that, I really appreciate y'all. And we're gonna continue to do these videos, man. I got bunch of videos coming obviously as the season you know comes up i'll be able to do you know those videos during the season and stuff so this is gonna be a very exciting you know thing that we got going on so i appreciate y'all continue to rock with your boy and i'm out